Hey, this is John Dreyer for Fender University. I'm here with Chris Fleming from Fender R&D. Chris is going to show us how to install a tremolo bridge into a new Fender body. Chris, take it away. Show us the process and walk us through. Will do. All right, so we're going to start by uh, installing the, the trem claw, is what we call it. And this is where the springs attach and then go to the bridge. The first thing you'll want to do here is wax up your screws. It'll make it much easier to install this. So you put a little wax or soap on the screw. A long screwdriver is much easier for this process um, because you really want to watch out. Uh, it's easy to bump the body with the edge of the screwdriver and cause it your first ding. We'll take these screws to about a oh, half inch or so from the edge of the body here because later on we're going to use that to adjust the, the trim for how loose it is or how tight it is. Okay, so that's good to start. And you're going to need at some point to put your ground wire through into the next cavity. So there's the first step. I'm going to turn it over and install the posts. These come with the bridge that you buy and the uh, threaded inserts here are already in the body when you buy the body so you don't have to worry about putting those in and causing chips or anything. What you want to do for now is, is bring it down as far as it'll go. And we'll just leave it there and then later when we do a setup we'll adjust the height of the front of the bridge using these posts. This one's snug so we'll take it all the way down with the screwdriver. You'll notice I'm keeping my fingers around this because from experience that the blade of that screwdriver will jump out and put a big old ding right in your guitar and I've done that so you don't want to do that. Okay now I got these both down flush. Now I'm going to take the bridge and install it. Okay should fit right into the pocket and you'll notice that there's two cutouts here that correspond with the posts. What will happen is when we get the springs on the, the springs will hold it up against the post and then when the strings are in the string tension will bring it up and then we will adjust it. I'm going to hold it together while I turn it over, okay, because it'll fall out until I get the first spring on. You're going to pull the spring to the front. We have uh, three springs. We'll do one in the center and one to either side. There we go. Okay, there you have it. Now, so what I have now is, there we go. I've got the bridge attached to the posts. I have the, the trim claw in and I've put a, some of the springs on. There's three of them. You can put more springs, but generally modern players like three springs. And that's basically it. Okay, Chris, we have a different body here. This is a strat with a vintage tremolo. Could you walk us through the process of installing a vintage trim? Sure, you bet. Well, the first thing I do is, is take the screwdriver, Phillips head screwdriver, and clean out each of these holes. There's six holes for the screws that hold the bridge down. And this will help as you install uh, to keep the paint from chipping around these holes. So I just kind of clean them up like that first. Then I take the bridge and place it carefully in the route and line up the holes. Now the next thing I'm going to do is, is wax this screw. Uh, you can use a bar of soap or paraffin or beeswax, whatever. This happens to be paraffin. But this really helps lubricate the screw and make it much easier for you to be able to put the screw in. So here we go. Okay, you can see I've, I've screwed these down close to the bridge plate. Now what I'm going to do is, is on each screw, you'll notice that I'm going to take it down to where the bridge tilts a little. You see that? And then I back it off till it's flat. Now I'm going to do that on every screw. This way you don't have anything holding up the bridge. It's free to float. So here we go, it's going to tilt, see, and I back it off. Just about a quarter turn from where it tilts, it'll lay flat, see, there it tilts, back it off. I'm going to do that on all six of these, and that al allows a pretty even point of contact across all of the screws. Here it comes, see, it's tilting, and I bring it back a little. Do the same thing here, tilts back and the last one okay tilts back there now nice. you can see how this yeah. floats pretty good 
Okay, next step is going to be installing the trim claw. This goes in the back of the um, route for the bridge pocket to uh, allow for the springs. That's what makes the tremolo float. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to wax the screw so they'll be a little bit easier to put in. It's good if you can to get a, a long screwdriver like this one uh, so that you're not going to ding up the body as you're putting this in. And I also like to use the, the screwdriver to kind of open up the end of the, or the beginning of the hole I should say here, to allow it to be easier to screw these screws in. This is probably one of the harder, physically harder things to do because of the angle of the screw. So I'm going to hold my fingers around the screwdriver <clears throat> kind of on the body to make sure that I'm not tearing the body up with the handle of the screwdriver as I'm doing this. Probably okay. a good idea to not use a drill for this step. You don't want to use a drill. Yeah. It's really dangerous. I've ruined bodies trying to do that yeah, before. Yeah. So I'm going to take this screw to about half an inch from the, the pocket. There we go. About like that. Now, as you get ready to wire the guitar, this trim claw will actually have a, uh, a ground on it. <clears throat> That'll help ground the bridge. When you're touching the strings, if it isn't grounded, you'll have noise. Um, and then, <clears throat> see, these springs are a little bit hard, so I'll generally take the, the screwdriver and, and line it up like that. These springs are pretty tight. Help me put it in like that. This is a little bit tricky. The other thing you can do is leave the claw out farther, attach the springs, and then tighten it. Mm. But I like to get it close to where it's going to end up before I put the springs in. Makes the bridge more stable. There. There we go. And that's it. Next thing you would do would be put the rest of the guitar together, and you can adjust the springs for the tension of the trim. Some people like to tighten it so that it stays on the body, and others like it to float but that would be part of the setup. Thank you, Chris. My pleasure. For more information and to find out how you can purchase Fender necks and bodies and other parts, please visit Fender.com. Mm -hmm.